Hi, uh, I'm so sorry I can't be there to accept the prize, but I'm really honored to win it, and thank you so much to everyone at Hawkswell and Aideen and the judges. Yeah. So, my poem starts with an epigraph, which is a haiku by Jack Kerouac, and it goes, Holding up my purring cat to the moon, I sighed. So this is Dead Ends, and it's for my beloved cat, who got a terminal disease a few years ago. Rove over sky and sill, and then the eye catches the backlit tips of your ears, the afternoon folded into their pockets. Gofford somewhere in the blue, a mad memory still tangled in the sprawl of your capillaries through rib hoops, long wall, renal archery into bursting fractals of dead nephrons. A blood work spun from urea, creatinine, high numbers, inferred ends of sentences. I remember night floods, fluorescent moons, the pallor of roan fur, your bare ammonite spine, a drip bag midair, and unspooling into trickled drops, thumb and finger, a trembly splinter glinting commutation, a lifetime of suspension, of watching slow seconds slip through the narrow neck between skin and sinew, where I breathed a new home tongue of hydroxides, percentages, the precise maths of counting pills wobbly doubloons to rule tissuey confusion into physic proofs and quell some blurry early language surging up like the cellular poison that had risen and, face it, still rises in your kidneys. But I am learning to catch the moments when time runs into itself like wrinkled skin and everything shrinks, shrinks, shrinks and opens like a clear sky to an infinite now, to you in your sublunary sleep facing the sun.